Michelle goes full ghetto in leaked private party video that caught disgusting things she did. The pitfalls of being a civilian are that when you're at a private party where every person there has a cell phone in hand, they can use it to capture anything you do and it's not stopped from being released to protect your reputation. There's no hiding who the Obamas are for real, especially after video just leaked of Michelle Obama at singer Beyonce's birthday bash. The former first lady probably didn't realize she was being recorded and likely didn't want this out, considering she displayed some pretty questionable behavior with what she's seen doing in this humiliating footage. Despite not being the first lady any longer, Michelle seems to still wants to live like one, but now has the added benefit of not trying to keep up political appearances and also the advantage of a fully paid security team at all times. She hasn't stopped rubbing elbows with Hollywood elites, which she enjoyed doing while she was in the White House, namely with rappers and their wives. Michelle forced her way into becoming best friends with Beyonce by having her at all the lavish White House parties she hosted. Beyonce returned the favor by inviting the First Lady at the time to her birthday party in 2016, which is where the now infamous video came from that has been hidden until now but never forgotten. Michelle constantly manages to embarrass herself with her classless antics that made her a humiliating First Lady while her husband was still in office. It's ironic that liberals try to say that Melania Trump is trashy and not fit to represent America, citing past modeling pictures, when videos like this emerge of Michelle. Despite being in her 50s, Michelle was drunk beyond recognition at Beyonce's birthday party, where she was recorded acting like a complete fool. The Hill reports. Private footage of former First Lady Michelle Obama that was apparently taken at R&B superstar Beyoncé's private birthday party was leaked online Friday. A Beyoncé fan account posted two videos that were apparently leaked from the cell phone of someone close to the singer. One of the videos shows Beyoncé's daughter with husband Jay-Z dancing, while the other video shows Beyoncé, her sister Solange, and the former First Lady saying bye Felicia to the camera. A subsequent tweet from the Buy High fan account confirmed the video was taken at the singer's private party last year. Some fans reacted to the video posting by questioning the source of the videos, and whether private videos of the singer should be leaked by fans. We'll never see a video like this come out about Melania because she doesn't carry herself this way, probably doesn't even drink since Donald Trump abstains and most importantly, she respects her position and the American people. Had this been her in the footage and not Michelle, liberals would have publicly skewered her with their words already, but the double standard runs deep for leftists queen. They are seeing this as Michelle being approachable, real, and a fine loving woman, rather than what it really is, trashy behavior while she was still first lady of the United States. Michelle's partying was hidden as best as her handlers could keep it out of the public eye while her husband was in office. However, now that they're out of the White House, the secret is to and her partying seems to have gone into overdrive. A few months ago, she was found drunk in the day while out at a boozy brunch with her other Hollywood friends. Page 6 reports that Michelle met up with Hollywood heavyweights, actress Sarah Jessica Parker, reporter Robin Roberts and Oprah Winfrey's Bassett friend, Gail King at the Swanky Breslin restaurant in New York City for brunch. The women were reportedly surrounded by a tight wall of secret service for their entire meal, which included champagne and Bloody Marys. While sipping on adult beverages with your nice meal is really no big deal, it was the excessive security she brought along that was a foolish overuse of taxpayer funds for brunch. It's ironic that the people who are so against the protection of a wall and use of firearms, including Michelle and her liberal lunch friends, required an armed barrier of protection around their booth. Michelle probably feels like she paid her dues for eight years in the White House, which she used as her cool card to get in with celebrities around the country. Many people feel like she exploited her role as first lady for this reason and think that lunch outings like this and drunken parties with celebrities show it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe Breaking News 365 channel. Goodbye and see you again. Again.